Hi, this is Jim Sinesco with AFC International. Today I want to show you a real quick phenomenon that can happen to your gas detectors. We've talked about this before, and this is where you turn on a gas detector. And in this case, I have a Sensit Gold, and uh, this can happen to any type of instrument. It doesn't have to be a, a knock-on Sensit Gold. It could be any make manufacturer. Any instrument that has an O2 sensor can inhibit this kind of problem. Um, but if you'll see here, you'll see uh, I have a four gas meter. I have an LEL, carbon monoxide, H2S, and oxygen. And the oxygen is looking like it's working. It says 21, uh, then it kind of bounces around 21, 22, 21.5. Then it kind of stabilizes. It was stabilizing at 20.9. But what I wanted to show you here is I want to make sure that you understand that this is a, a false confidence situation here because you're thinking the instrument is working and everything is good. But when you actually challenge the sensor, um, it doesn't. So I'm going to go ahead and exhale into the inlet here. Now when we exhale into an oxygen sensor, an instrument with an oxygen sensor, we should be able to drive that sensor down into alarm. But in this case, you can see that I exhaled for quite a long time and it didn't even drop. It went maybe down to a few tenths down, then it kind of bounced back up and a, two, a few tenths up back up over 20.9. Um, so now it's 21.2. Um, when you see this kind of a situation, you should not use your instrument at all. In fact, exhaling on that unit, although it sounds funny and it kind of kind of strange to do it's not it's something we've done for the last 32 years I've been doing gas monitoring it's a quick easy way to make sure that that sensor is responding and you're changing and now obviously using calibration gas or doing a bump test is a much better approach but if you don't have that and anytime someone hands you a gas detector you should again take that inlet I'm gonna go ahead and exhale you should be able to see that sensor deflect and go down below the alarm set point. We exhale at right around 16% oxygen. And then in this case, again, nothing happened. So what I want you to, to know and, and understand is we got to do these types of checks beforehand. Now I'm going to go ahead and hook it up to the gas. I know we're kind of off screen right now. I'll bring it back up here. I'm giving it gas. The other sensors are responding nicely. Here's your LEL sensor, your oxygen still not moving. Carbon monoxide and H2S is slowly coming up. Now, actually, look at that H2S. Very, very slowly coming up, but it's coming. We're at 50% LEL, 46, 49 uh, ppm CL. Those are correct. We're giving it 50 and 50, so they're close. H2S is at 6. We're giving it 10. It's a little bit slow, uh, but again, it's now at seven. It's going to work. It's going to let us know oxygen is way off. So this little tip today is make sure you check your gas meters. Make sure when you're doing uh, using an instrument, you're going to be bump testing prior to use. Minimally, um, you're going to be exhaling on that sensor if you don't have gas available, but you should be doing that. And also one last thing, exhaling on the sensor with an internal pump like this gold will also check, make sure that the pump is actually pulling as well. So, uh, for AFC International, Jim Sinesco here. Be safe. Understand your instruments. Definitely do some bump testing. Have a good day.